what up guys welcome to my channel this is your boy don jeff as you know always come with the truth nothing but the truth we are here again with another episode but today's episode is going to be about keith born over here in italy and keith born over there in germany so we are going to talk about two things over here we are going to compare germany and italy and look at the differences between them towards having citizenship if you were being born over here in italy if today is your first time watching me on this channel it's all about education influence and entertainment if you want to be part of the family all that you have to do is subscribe and click on the notification bell when i post a video you're gonna have it on time if you are already my subscriber god bless you very much for sharing my video for giving me the like button for commenting all the effort you are putting god bless you very much i can't thank you at all you are the reason why this channel is growing though we don't do much on this channel but you have been supporting this channel. god bless you at all let's get to the main reason why we are here today today we are going to talk about a little bit differences between italian kids or maybe kids born over here in italia from a uh, uh, foreigners and uh, kids born in germany from foreigners uh, too so uh, in Italy, they have two processes. If you were being born over here, they have this what they call you soli, and the pronunciation is different. They have you soli, you sanguinis. The people say uh, you soli, you sanguinis, juis soli, juis sanguinis. So it depends on how you are going to pronounce this and how you think it's being pronounced. But we are going to talk about the you soli, which is basically kids born from uh, foreigners. Maybe none of the parents uh, are Italian, or maybe none of the parents none of the parents acquire italian citizenship or maybe none of the parent is uh italian citizen or maybe none of the parent is a uh, german citizen this is what we are going to talk about so if you like content like this first post and give me the like button or maybe share the video to family and friend let them benefit from it maybe you don't like it you can do me a favor just by sharing the video maybe just by uh uh yes that's what you can do to support the channel so that people who need the video can have access to it if you did not share it it will only start to the people who are already watching it maybe you don't need it because you are having just uh, asylum political maybe you are not ready to even go close to citizenship but there are people who really want it so you can do me a favor by sharing it it will really help me so if you are being born over here or be a kid born over here in italy with uh you know, maybe foreigners uh the kid will not have italian citizenship which is very very bad the kid have to wait up to 18 years before the kid can acquire italian not acquire you have to even request for the italian citizenship but sometimes they will even reach 18 years and they cannot acquire italian citizenship because of some of the mistakes their parent did or maybe because of some of the mistake then themselves they did but before we talk about that one let's move to germany and see the differences between here and germany germany when a kid is being born from a foreign parent or maybe a foreign uh, or foreigners uh the kid will have citizenship if only the parents stay in germany for eight years and they have a permanent resident over there in in germany for eight years and they have um uh um resident permit for eight years they are permitted so John, let me put it in there if they have their permit over there for eight years and their resident is also eight years without even interruption so the kid will have it immediately as the kid who is born over there and what the good side of it it doesn't have it doesn't have to be like both parents are having a resident a eight years resident permit and a resident over there before the kid can request for it uh can have it uh, german german or uh, german citizen only if one of the parents is having eight years resident permit and have everything over there for eight years just eight years it's very it's very very nice in italy you can have cater di sojourno stay here for 10 years eight years if you are not having the italian citizenship your kid cannot have italian citizenship if the kid is being born so this is the disadvantage that italians are having which kids born over here are also having but i hope that one day they will change it i think in germany when the kid reach 18 years the kid have to also uh revoke one of the citizenship because your parents uh let's say if you your pay one of your parents came from ghana you know uh ghana you can have dual citizen i think so or maybe america you can have dual citizenship so if one of the parents is uh, uh can can uh you can inherit the citizenship or maybe you can uh pass by your your, your parents can pass by their citizenship to you you can decide to take that citizenship and revoke the one of germany you cannot have dual citizenship in germany but in italy you can have dual citizenship so this is the advantage over here in italy and one thing i i i read or maybe i uh, i asked and they told me is in germany when you have uh, that 18 years they give you a maximum of five years 
for you to decide which of the citizenship you want to be, or which of the citizen you want to be you want to be a german citizen or you want to be a citizen of one of your parents so you have to decide within that five years so within five years if you couldn't do it i think you, you they revoke your citizenship which i'm not sure of it but this is what it is over there in germany let's come back to italy in italy uh you have to reach 18 years okay and you have to have a resident permit non stack you don't have to have or maybe stack uh resident the resident must be 18 years and this is the place where most of the ch- k- uh, the kids or maybe the most of the children find it difficult to have the citizenship immediately as they reach 18 years because let's take it for instance uh foreigners like us we are here for a purpose some are here to look for jobs some are here to look for even if you are not here to look for job it will reach a time that you want to have a work because you cannot just stay in the house just like that so due to that fact most of the people can change residence or move from move from one place to another and sometimes most of these parents do mistake without uh doing resident immediately as they move to that place so let's say you went to a place and you are working over there and you stay there for maybe five years six years hey, five months or maybe six months or maybe one month or two months and you did not do resident it's going to affect your kid because your kid will is not going to have a, a let's say a continual resident so maybe if you change your resident from that place and you did not introduce this new resident it's going to affect the kid so you have to make sure that you uh you register yourself or maybe you 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 change your residence anytime you change a place if not it is going to affect your kids and also there is one thing i've noticed that most of the people used to take their kids maybe to their country and forget even to register them when they change their residence they 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 they, they will not put their name i know when you go to Comune, they like to put everything the resident of your uh, the family you know the start of the family the kids supposed to be in but make sure that you communicate all the time your resident so that your kid can have 18 years with without a stack uh, resident because if your kid reach 18 years and miss even one month or two months the prefecture can decide not to give it to your, your 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 kid and it's going to affect it that's why most of the time the lawyers used to tell you let the kid reach 19 years that one it will help because 18 years plus another one year even if there's some problem in the resident uh you can solve that one without even any difficulties so i think this is what we have to talk about today another thing i want to add to this one is having resident over here uh it's not difficult most of the people used to get confused about having residents when you change a house you have a new house contract and stuff like that uh you can change your residence immediately as the house contract is being done to you take it to the commune whatever information just go to the commune don't be afraid any information that you want and somebody tell you no you have to do this thing in agency de l'entrata you have to do this in imps you have to do this in this don't be afraid just move directly to those places ask them the question tell them your problem they are going to tell you whatever you have to do to have whatever you want so i believe that um it's better you give it a try rather than never try it at all and keep on asking questions because the more you keep on asking questions the more you become confused because i will tell you a different thing somebody will also tell you a different thing you will hear something somewhere else and it will make you confused so i am telling you whatever you have to do go to the right sources and when you have the information try your best to uh work towards it so this is what we are coming to talk about you solely and you sanguine the you sanguine is as i said previously if one of the parents is italian when you are being given birth over here you are automatically italian so uh, thank you very much for having time watching this video if you take something out of it we will still talk much about this thing uh you know even if you are in italy for instance and uh, you have cutter this or i heard previously the child automatically become uh, uh we will have the cutter this or which now it is not like that the kid have to reach five years before the kid can have italian uh carta di soggiorno and also when you bring a, a child over here or maybe you bring somebody over here the ch- that, that person will have the same permit that you are having that is family document and it's very bad that i am here i was giving birth over here i, I was born over here i can't have a, a higher permit or maybe a higher i don't know how it works though but this is what it is bro god bless you for having time watching this video if you like content like this all that you have to do is subscribe and click notification bell when i post a video you have it on time and also if you are watching me and this is not your first time you have been on this channel help help me by giving me the thumbs up and also share my video to your family and friends it really helps because you don't need it maybe there are some people out there who really need this video maybe you want to know about your document how to do this how to do that but we are doing this to help 
a lot of people people to draw the attention maybe i'm not giving you the direct answer so maybe the right the direct uh things that you need but drawing your mind to some of the things will let you know okay yes i have to do this so kindly help me by sharing the video give me the thumbs up because it really helped me this is your boy black god bless you for having time this i'm out